it's it's bad uh i don't yeah i don't know like um parts of it there's like these really bad turn-ins so even though it doesn't feel it's not as urban technically there are some downsides to that and actually there's a big part of love like that is like farmland it's like the yeehaw country <laughs> that's all i think of it as i don't know why my family comes like are some of them are farmers so like i don't know it cracks me up but um, i'm not ye just, i'm not a yee love like is a big mix <laughs> you're not a yeehaw i'm a yeehaw <laughs> Um, I'm super white, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I'm super brown. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's why we're so different. Um, but in good ways. Yeah. But, but yeah, Lubbock is also, it's become more diverse though, but it made me really miss like going to like Plano because all the time since, um, like, you know, there's like a lot of different like cultures in Plano and a lot of different like supermarkets for every kind of culture you could ever think of, I believe. <laughs> Uh, but like, and even though it's fairly, fairly diverse in Lubbock, not as diverse as Plano, but still fairly diverse, uh, there's like one tiny little Asian supermarket, and there's like one Korean place, like a couple Chinese places, but they're like fast food Chinese food, and then like one Japanese place. And I am like an Asian food lover, so I, I was like deprived. I had like Panda Express too often, it wasn't even that great, but my friend I'm prefers done. Panda Express to actual Asian food. So, me, I, it was, thanks I was to deprived. Tony. Um, we went to this ramen place. Oh my god, y'all need to go. If you ever go to them, go to Hanabi. Oh, it's in the square. Um, and then it's like the spicy, the, I don't, I don't know the name of it. I don't want to butcher it. But Tony, Tony just, he knows the order. He's like, okay, bam. But, oh, I miss it. You should text Tony and say the order to get have said the order to get when you're there. Uh, <laughs> so, David, what kind of advice would you give to like someone who's watching this possibly that might, is like graduating this year or is eventually going to college or how maybe is, know someone that's about to be in college. Like what would you, what advice would you give them as someone who's experienced college even just for a year? Um, I would say, um that sometimes i know from personal experience i didn't miss home as much i was kind of i wanted to be free and independent and i definitely got that but i definitely want you um to for definitely for sure like understand is you have to put yourself first and i know a lot of people that just kind of like excuse me what um put me first like why and there's a lot of reasons because you're very vulnerable. You're very vulnerable. Your first year, you're away Especially from home. Especially right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like you are in a new place, new environment, and you just have this freedom and, and you're alone. And there's no familiar people. And you're paying a lot of money to get that higher education. And do not let anything jeopardize that. You're here for you. You're here because you want to um, pursue something that you're passionate about. And don't let someone else ruin that for you. I know for me, I, agree. I put too much focus on my friends. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but there needs to be a fine balance of making sure that you have time for yourself. And it's not a matter of being selfish, it's a matter of taking care of yourself. Mental health is very yeah, important. And, yes, and if, and like, it's obviously we're not saying distance yourself from your friends, no. but if your mental, your mental health comes first, and if those people are real friends, they will still be there even after you've had your mental health break. Yeah. and it's They will still be there. And it's important to take those because like, if you don't take a mental health break, you're gonna, like, what happened to me was my jar, uh, um, I always use this analogy, but everyone has a vase with, it's full of water. And every time you're there for someone, um, especially if it's something like big, a lot of that water is taking out. My vase was completely shattered. Um, I had nothing to give. I was literally drained. And I would feel it, I would, my body would feel it, that I'm completely drained. and. Then, then you're not okay. Like, you need time to really put yourself first. You need to, you need to have times to comp, like reward yourself. 
because you need that. You need to have sometimes a break from school, from everything, and just like, like I know what Tony, Tony's my best friend too. Um, if you're watching it, shout out to Tony and Philly. Um, but sometimes we would just go door dashing and just drive. He'll be having orders, he'll be just chilling in the car, just driving nowhere. And that just gave me so much peace and just kind of like block everything out for just a few, a few moments to just really enjoy myself, you know what I mean? Um, that's one thing I would definitely give is that um, friendships is another thing because there's a big difference between a friend and being friendly. Um, so someone yes. pointed that out. Yes. Because um, friendly is just, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. But they're not. Like your acquaintances, I guess. Yeah, your acquaintance. like you're acquaintances. We're like, yeah. And, and friends are there for you. They have your back. They are there to listen. They, they, you give the same amount of effort into the relationship. It's not one-sided. So as my vase is being poured out, they're pouring in me and vice versa. And that's how friendship should be. If they have to do with, um, with trust and respect, those two are very important. Um, because sometimes when you, when you, be, um, when you have those real conversations, like I know me, Hannah, I would call her, and like having those real and honest conversation, like you're, you're being vulnerable to somebody. And you can't just be like, steal that moment from, not steal their moment, but like not be there for them and make it about you. You know what I mean? Hannah? Yeah. Because I know like, you know people that I've, I've told you that it was just oh, yeah. kind of like I wish they were more there to listen and really help me out. But luckily, I had you, Tony and Philly. So, yep. What else? And I do, I do think it's important to just kind of keep in touch with your own mental health because it's easy to kind of get away from yourself, and um, it's it's totally okay with like. Everyone has different college experiences. Like David and I have completely different ones. Completely different. I don't, I, um, like I don't. I didn't make that many friends in college. I made like one friend in college. <laughs> I, I have like acquaintances, but I have like one friend I made in college, Mackenzie. That's like it so far. Um, and I also I don't like I don't go to parties. I don't. I don't. I've never like drank before. I don't like. I don't know. I just I don't I don't have a typical college life. Some people do, and everyone has it differently. Some people have that to an extreme where like. Education's nothing, and they just party. Which I mean, all all to you. It's not your your body. You do what you yeah. want. Um, or they focus on the education. And I've been trying to find a happy medium without like trying not to just be like a stickler and have like no fun. But I still have had fun. But just keep mm -hmm. reminding yourself that it is okay to take breaks. Like it's not the end of the world if you wake up one day and you feel like absolute crap and you have to message your professor and say. Hey, I won't be in class today. I apologize if it's an unnecessary absence. You know, whatever. If, it, if it's like a like some classes you have to go to, but if if you really mental health like mental health wise cannot handle it and you just need a break, that's okay. Yeah. Like I know that you, I. You're just gonna keep burning yourself out more. I I had I had one of those days. I just I was on a for my Tuesday classes. I just I something happened and I. I just couldn't. I emailed my professors and they're very understanding and I just needed the break. I just, it just, it would, sometimes things just hit you or different events just hit you and you just like, you just need to be like, hey, I, today is not the day. I am so sorry. Um, communicate with your professors. They're there to help you. They understand that this is a whole new transition that you're getting used to and they're very flexible. Just talk to them, email. I can I said send the email and and ha and I know different universities have resources to um, like UNT has free uh, therapy sessions where you make an appointment and literally you have a an actual therapist there to help out 
and just take advantage yeah, of that. Take advantage, take advantage of that Definitely. because I'm telling you, it's okay to ask for help. There's so much stigma around mental health and people think I can handle my own problems. I'm not saying that you can't, but sometimes you need that additional support. And if your campus definitely has that, take advantage of that, because I know I had, that I went to therapy, um, because some things that I was dealing with, because I was like, I tend to keep everything to myself and try to fix everything. And I just couldn't for this this one, and I and I went to therapy, and it helps. It it just takes everything out of you. So it does. It helps a lot. Um, and I just say also feel like the last thing for advice I'd give is college isn't as scary as it seems. Like it's high not. school will make you like high school teachers will make you feel like college you have you have to do this so you can get into uh, wait, college you can get into college that way because all your professors will be so much harder than me and some might you know that it's very it varies per person but also don't also beat yourself up over getting into a certain college you want like yeah it's fine if you don't get into like harvard or whatever super stupid like super super high up college you want because no matter where you go to get education you're getting an education yeah and that's less that's, that's what's important and you can still work up to that. You can like go to a, like a better college later for like, if you wanted to get a higher degree. And but if you don't, then that's totally okay as well. Um, so yeah. I just don't let high school psych you out about college because honestly, college to me is easier than high school has. Because in high school you sit for eight hours a day learning nonstop, and in college you have time to like do your work in between classes. So it's. It's a lot easier in my opinion, and I also kind of hate sometimes how hard they push high school students, because yeah. looking back at it, I'm like, oh my god, why they push it so hard whenever college is like nowhere near this stressful. College um, is not, do you have time? Do you use that time wisely? Use those resources and um, create friend, like study groups. I remember me and Tony and Philly would go to the library and we would literally study and do our homework and just hang out. Um, and then go to Fuzzies at the Syndicate and just chill. Another thing that I wanted to add was high school. Um, I know that you have those friends and and y'all want to stick together. And don't go to a college because of your friends. Exactly, do, yeah. Because I mean, we don't. know that for a fact. Well, because we do it. We're we're best friends, but we went yeah. to different colleges, and yeah, it was, and it was painful. But doesn't mean doesn't mean we still didn't agree that it was more important than like seeing yeah. every day. Because we talk, we Facetime and stuff all the time. It's not a big deal. Me and Hannah, I'm um, literally. Well, I was thinking of going to Texas Tech for education because it's the second best in the state. But eventually, I was like, no. <laughs> but don't go because I'm telling you, things change. You need to be. You, you need to discover yourself. And I'm not saying that, um, what's the word? Like you have to go to a different college than your friends. Yeah. But just don't choose it just because they're choosing it. Yeah. Just like, don't let anyone, any else influence your decision. Pick for yourself. Pick, pick for based yourself. on what you're, if you have, if you know what your major is, pick based on if you like the education there, if you like the environment there, if you like the people there, you know? Yes. Don't just choose because one of your, because some of your friends are going to that one school. Cause like, hell, you and T have so many people from our high school that like, honestly, I wouldn't, I would never like be alone at UNT. And Tech has some people from my high school at it, but not, not a lot. So but I chose Tech cause I prefer, I preferred it just for myself. And just cause even though I love David, just cause like, I like, just cause he's going to UNT doesn't mean that I'm gonna go there. I chose for myself. So. Just, yeah, but, All right, but like, like the video if you want us to do, <laughs> like the video if you want us to do more, or like message us or something, and tell us if you want more of these, because it's just us talking, honestly, but if you enjoy it, please tell us so we know to make more. So. Yeah, so that was me and Hannah. Please make sure you drop that like and leave a comment below. Until next time, make sure you subscribe and y'all stay and we'll see safe. Y later. Bye, y'all.